and welcome to Andrea's Dish. I am going to make a salad for lunch today and it's going to call it a big burger salad. Um, you could think of it as kind of like a Big Mac type of salad, but I'm going to use it with Epicure seasonings. But I'm going to feature our multi-purpose steamer. This steamer, with the lid on, will cook this hamburger in about five minutes, if maybe even less, depending on what you got. I've got about 12 ounces of burger in here. That's enough for Bob and I for lunch. And I've got our burger seasoning. This has all kinds of amazing flavors in it, but it's really good to season up a burger with. So I'm going to just sprinkle a good tablespoon of this on top of my meat. I have ground sirloin here, so I don't really, I'm not going to worry about draining the fat because I really won't be any. And I've just got it all sprinkled in. I'm going to cover this up, put it in the microwave, and I'll be right back. that going for about three minutes and then I'll be able to chop it up a little bit but I still want to talk a little bit about the steamers. Um, these steamers are workhorses in your kitchen. I do believe you need both. Uh, this is our small rectangular steamer and the multi-purpose steamer. I have both. I actually have two of these because I use this little one a lot since there's two of us in the house. I make vegetables in it. I can make a small amount of rice in it and oatmeal. When you do rice, oatmeal, things that might boil over, all you do is just take your lid and just set it askew a little bit, just a little bit off kilter, so that the extra steam escapes and then you won't have the boil over. So you can also make a small amount of popcorn, put like two, three tablespoons of popcorn in here, let it go for three or four minutes. You know how popcorn works, you just let it pop and when it starts to slow down, then you take it off and it's done. Um, no oil or fat needed when you're doing vegetables, no water is needed. Um, you can do potatoes in here really fast. Again, you don't need any water and they cook up so much faster than boiling them in a pot. So that's a little bit about our steamers. I think everybody should have one. The, um, when you sign on to become a consultant, the large steamer comes in your consultant kit. That's how valuable we think they are. Everyone's gonna love them. So I'm gonna make the sauce or the dressing for my big burger salad. I'm gonna get about a half a cup of mayonnaise. There's just the two of us for lunch today, so I don't need to make a ton of it, which is one of the reasons I love these um, dressing mixes, sauce mixes, you make however much you want. I've got that. I've got our big burger sauce mix, and I'm going to add one tablespoon because it calls for two tablespoons if you're making um, using one cup of mayo. So one tablespoon of this. This has peppers and onion and garlic, um, black pepper, chives. There is no added salt. You have to add salt if you want salt in your um, in your dressing. And then we're going to add little bit of ketchup. It calls for you know, a good tablespoon. So I've got a good tablespoon there. I'm going to stir it up and see what I get. Let's see how if I need more. And of course pickle relish. Put a tablespoon of that in there. And this is going to taste like a Big Mac dressing. There's Thousand Island special sauce. But this stuff is awesome. So you're getting that stir. You're getting that pretty pink color that we're all used to. Relish in there. I am going to taste it and check for salt because we don't have salt in a lot of our seasonings. You need to make sure it's salty enough for you. It doesn't need any salt at all. That's perfect. So this is really thick. I am actually going to stir a little bit of milk into this, make it a little thinner so it's like a dressing for us. That's about a tablespoon or so of milk. I'm gonna stir that up. Sorry, somebody must be coming to the door. So that's gonna be a nice consistency for our salad. We'll set this aside. The um, spices and seasonings are gonna rehydrate, and this is gonna be a wonderful addition to our salad today. I'm gonna go get the steamer. So the cool thing about our steamer is that this burger is going to be about half cooked. This was in for three minutes and you can feel how nice and warm it is, but it's not too hot to touch. Um, we have vent holes in the top to let the extra steam out, but when I lift the lid, you'll see all the steam coming out. And I've got a little bit of liquid and I'm going to chop this up 
the meat is still a little bit pink in the middle because with microwaves, you, they cook from the outside in. So this is our ground meat separator. I love this tool. Um, it's awesome. There are other companies that make them too, but I like ours because it only has the three fins and it's easy to clean. Things don't get stuck up in it. So I'm just gonna chop this meat back up and you can see the liquid is being taken care of. I'm not gonna chop it too fine. I don't want this chopped as fine as a taco because I want some chunks in here. I'm gonna put the lid back on. And it's gonna go back in for about a minute and a half. That's all it's gonna need. take off a little bit of this brown stuff, but no big deal. And we'll just chop it here, cut the edge here. This out of my way. This is our um, cutting board, non-stick, non-slip. Um, I love it, it's awesome. It's got four rubber feet on each side. So when you're done with the one side, you can turn it over and, um, you know, get rid of the dirty side and use the clean side again. Now, Bob and I are really good at making salads that are way too big. So I'm going to put some lettuce in here, a little bit more for this one. We've got another heavy in the basement for our next salad. Just push that lettuce aside until I need more. Tomato here. I love these little Campari tomatoes. They have such great flavor. And we'll put a little fresh tomato. If you want to put onion, you can. We put dill pickle on here. Um, and my meat is done, so I've got nice little red tomatoes. And we've got shredded cheese somewhere. That's the thing I didn't get out. But anyhow, so you get the idea. So I'm going to put the shredded cheese on here. I'm going to add some pickle slices. Use what you have in the house. Don't make, don't, don't try to be too fancy. Um, use what you've got. Make it work for you. So if, if you want to add some hard-boiled egg, cheese or no cheese to this, if you want to say dairy-free, you can. I've got some dill pickle. Let's sprinkle that around here. Gonna add a nice bite to this. And then we've got our meat and it's all done. Give me a minute. So here we go, steam again. Meat is perfectly cooked. I'm just gonna give it another stir. Um, like I said, I bought ground sirloin, so that's about a 90% lean to 10% fat, so there's no really any residual fat. And I am gonna put this on top of here, top it with some dressing. Um, I'm gonna let this cool a little bit first because I don't want the steamy meat on there. I just want it to be a little warm. But anyhow, you get the idea. Our multi-purpose steamer, it's a great work workhorse and each and every one needs one. Have a great day.